Today is gonna be another birding day with Austin. I'm driving over to meet him now. What are we gonna do today? Go birding. Where are we going birding? The Ottawa Wildlife Drive. Should be good. I'm trying to figure out how I can sit up higher in Austin's car since I'm short. <laughs> A problem I've never had. You're going to get in the seat next and you're going to be like, oh, darn it. <laughs> I have to fix it back. True. So this is my brother Austin. He has been in a few birding videos and other yep. videos. He is the top 23rd birder in the wild. Yep. So pretty For official. This year. Pretty official for 2022 as of now. I've seen 254 species now in Ohio this year. And what are we gonna find there? A lot of cool birds, hopefully, but the ones we're looking for are the black-billed cuckoo and then the long-billed doetcher, or dowager, which is a shorebird. Um, there's probably gonna be a lot of shorebirds that could go to mudflat there. We can find a lot of really cool things. These build his suit for him. Pull over. We have full bellies. Got yep. our food. Ready. Awesome's driving now. My seat's really high. You have to adjust it. Back to search for Chris and the sand. They claim that all the areas were searched. Two miles to go. The rain is holding out. We got a few drops earlier, but doesn't look like we're having another burning in the rain episode. We're here. We made it to Ottawa Ooh. National Wildlife Refuge. You don't know what kind of bird that is? No. This wood duck is very good. That one's good. Put in my hand. King Eider. Cinnamon teal. Trumpeter swan. He knows all the birds. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is cool. Hey, with a really old And once again, burning in the rain. <laughs> you actual burning spot? Yeah. Oh yeah, I just saw. We checked out the nature center and now we are on to the next stop. On to the wildlife drive. Mm -hmm. It's only open on Saturdays and Sundays. I think only during the summer. Luckily, rain doesn't impact the shorebirds, so we'll be good there. Unlike the pipit? Yeah. That might have just found a lost cause from the start. <laughs> There's the wildlife drive. Up to the right here, we got a great blue herring flying off into the distance. See the thing called? We're gonna get out here. Cedar So the milkweed's not affecting their dying. They need milkweed. I see. I'm not sure if it's toxic. Don't know what this is. It's pretty cool. Oh, well, that makes sense. What is he? A red milkweed beetle? Mm -hmm. What if he's killing the milkweed and therefore killing the uh, monarch? Got an eastern kingbird up there? Yeah. Any fun facts about this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> He has a cool name, but that's about it. Song Sparrow. Oh, that's the machine gun Cedron. Wait, you hear it? Or I see just it? heard it. Straight out there. That, that rapid fire. So that's why it's a machine gun run? The Cedron. Oh wait, that's a Cedron? Mm -hmm. mm. Now we're looking for the indigo bunting. He's that loud one. Oh. Right there. That's oh, wow. The indigo bunting. Being noisy. Oh, there he goes. What kind of hummingbird? Ruby throated. Hummingbird. 
got a yellow throat a warbler hiding no common yellow common throat. yellow throat not a warbler common yellow throat no it is a warbler but there's a <laughs> yellow throated warbler so it can be confusing <laughs> this is a common yellow throat gotta keep ourselves accurate See the, the brown guy next to him? No. Oh yeah, down below. That's a female indigo bunting. That's cool. So while we're not in Australia, we do have kingfishers, which are a part of the kookaburra family. The kookaburra is part of the kingfisher Red. family. The kookaburra is part of the kingfisher family. And that is a belted kingfisher. Belted kingfisher. So we've already seen a lot of birds at this stop. In the distance in the tree is an eagle. And then over here we have a white egret, a gray egret, what gray is it? Egret, great egret, great egret and snow egret. There's a little there's yeah, there's, there's two sandpipers. That's the lesser yellow legs. This one right here? The one right on the mm -hmm. right and then the left one. Those are both lesser yellow legs Aww. here. Snow egret's good though. This is the only place I've seen them in Ohio. It looks like the egret's talking to the crane. <laughs> no. I have a pectoral sandpiper now too. Nice. Pretty cool looking caterpillar. Look at the sandal crane. You got the dowager? That's the long bill. Nice. That's the family. They're all moving in rhythm. Yeah. So cute. Hooded merganser sitting up on the log. We've seen both types of yellow legs, at least in semi palmated sandpiper, semi palmated plover, either short billed or long billed dowager, stilt sandpiper, killer deer, sandhill crane, snowy egret. Yeah. That's Lots. a lot. We had a pretty good spot. Austin got to teach some of the other birders about the birds that were out and about. In the marsh. There are a lot of dower trees out there for a while, but then they all flew somewhere else. We don't know where they went. But we did get to see a sandhill crane family of three. Yeah, we saw them fly away together and walk together. They were really cute. We are all adult eagles. Yep. Four bald eagles. So this pull off, we just saw a really cool interaction between four bald eagles and one peregrine, peregrine or peregrine, peregrine, falcon. peregrine falcon who is eating its meal. And then the eagles came by and disturbed it and they were chasing the peregrine, fal peregrine falcon. And yeah. Austin got some good pictures. That's they're why they're fitters on. So that is 1A2. That's his band name. Waiting for the turns. Oh. What? Um, there's Caspian turns.
There's some snails down here. Aww. Is that a frog? Yeah. <laughs> so, what was your favorite thing we saw today? I think my favorites were sandhill cranes, belted kingfisher, mm -hmm. and the semi-palmated plovers. Yeah, there were two of them. They look like killdeer, but they're a lot cuter. And the kingfisher had the rusty orange on it, so it was a female kingfisher. One of the few birds that the female is more colorful than the male. I think my favorite part was seeing the peregrine falcon eating one of the shorebirds that we were watching. Before he showed up, all the shorebirds took off, and we yeah. didn't know what scared them. And then we saw a big bird perched on the tree, and it was the peregrine. Just ripping into his <laughs> Yeah, shorebird. perched on the dead tree and just eating his meal, and then all of a sudden we see him fly and we're like, oh, why'd he fly? And there's an eagle chasing him. And next thing we know, there's three eagles chasing it. And another one joined it and they were all adult eagles because they all had white heads. So that was pretty crazy to see. We've seen a lot of cool things. We've seen American Kestrel. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we heard sedrens. Saw a lot of shorebirds. Dowager. Dowagers. A lot of sandpipers. 